Okay, so what I've done is I've, uh, let me go ahead and turn this light back off again, because it's actually not doing what I needed to do. Um, went ahead and I ran the uh, temperature on my oven up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, interesting to note, I probably should record this in the beginning, it's 1229. I turned that light off because um, originally we were thinking that heat might have something to do with the radiometer. Um, but if that was true, it would be spinning right now. Now, that light, as soon as it turns on, will start spinning it again. Um, and there it goes. So, it, this, 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 uh, our, our, our theories are, are proving to be incorrect, pretty much, in a nutshell, is what, what it is. Because, I mean, if it's 250 degrees in there, if it was heat, if it was infrared that was, moving this and my thought no it doesn't matter anyway so light turns on it starts spinning light turns off 250 degree temperature in there does nothing to it doesn't move doesn't do anything um, however I do believe uh, that as it heats up um, and we'll we'll do this right now just to run a test we'll move it up to uh, 325 and uh, reason for this is, is to show that as the heat increases it will spin um, and what I'll do is, is I'm going to wait for this to hit probably about 270 um, and as soon as it hits 270 I'm going to go back down there again and we're going to take a look at it and as um, as you noticed before as soon as the light turns on, it doesn't start spinning immediately, it takes a second. So, the way we're proving this is, is that when that light is on, it will already be spinning. So, we'll give it just a second here. Okay. 269, 270. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this uh, video here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the oven light, and what we should see is spinning. There you go. So with the increase in temperature, it start it was spinning. However, once it hits a stagnant temperature, uh, where there's no increase in the temperature in in, in wherever it's at, it, it ceases to spin. So why is this important? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. I uh, am just doing. Doing some testing, trying to understand how this thing works. Um, but anyway, so if it holds a temperature, it does not spin. So, um, good to know. And also, we might as well just, since we're doing this, obviously, wicked hot in here right now. See if I can get this out without burning myself. Okay. Okay. So... This is going to be cool because now it's going to spin backwards. And I don't know if you saw the direction that it was spinning before, but before it was spinning in the other direction. So as the heat leaves the radiometer, as there's a heat difference, um, it, it, it spins in the opposite direction. Now, the, And I mean, and this is even out in the sunlight. Um, right now, uh, and I bet you if I put it out in the sun it would probably keep spinning backwards but anyway, so anyway, it's now 12.33 uh, it's the day after Christmas, it's that 12.26.2011 and, and as soon as that, that uh, radiometer becomes room temperature it will cease to spin backwards and actually, um, if we want to see it sped up as far as that spinning goes I'm just opening up my refrigerator here. Um, we're going to go ahead and move. We're going to increase the amount of, of heat that this system is losing. And obviously, this is still really hot. And we're going to put it right there. And so there it goes. And it's what it's going to do is, is it being in this in this cold environment, um, it's going to lose heat even faster. But once again, once it hits. Um, whatever temperature, like once it becomes the temperature of the environment that it's in, it, it no longer functions 
in terms of rotation. So why that is, I don't know. So anyway, let's sit this out. Have a good day.